Hey everybody, it is Rachel with Rachel Q Stitches and welcome to my channel. Today is Tuesday, August 10th and this is Floss Tube number 28. If you're new here, thank you for stopping by. This is a channel mainly about cross stitch. Um, once in a blue moon I may talk about quilting, <laughs> but mostly it's cross stitch and just a little bit of family news and updates here and there. Um, if you are a returner, thank you so much for returning. And if you are returning and you have not subscribed, please do so. I would appreciate it. Um, it. It helps me gauge how many people are engaged in my channel. And, uh, yeah, you know, it just makes me feel better, <laughs> if we're going to be honest. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you for stopping by. Um, I think I missed... Spoke. I hate that phrase, but anyway, I think I um, said that last week my husband was starting students on Thursday and Friday, and it's not. It's this week. He starts school, so last week he was in meetings, and this week he is in meetings and getting his classroom ready, and um, I am getting used to him not being here every day, and so that's just kind of a, you know, something I go through every fall is him starting back at school, and um, whatever. But anyway, so Thursday and Friday, they have AB days for new students, for the students, and then we don't know how they're going to continue coming Monday, if they're going to continue AB or if they're going to go full days. Um, you know, it's the whole make sure they social distance, but they pack 36 kids in the class, and you just can't, and so I don't know what they're going to do. But anyway, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. So, what have I been stitching? Um... I did a lot of stitching this week. I, you know, with my husband in school, that's one of the pluses, I guess you could say, <laughs> is that I do get some stitching done. He, um, you know, when he's home during the summer, we, I have to be ready to, to go with a drop of a hat. And, um, cause it's just, if it's a beautiful day, we go and we do something, you know, but you know, now that he's in school, I'm getting a little bit more stitching done. So I do have two new starts. And one of them is um, Sunday, I don't think I started this, I think I mentioned it, but it's Sunday Stitches, Amazing Grace. This, I believe, was the first chart that came out um, in the series. Um, there's 12, and of course we're on, I just got August, so we're on 8. So anyway, so I started it. Oh, I did show y'all this, because I did um, the leaves. So this week I worked on the bottom set of letters. So there they are, right there. This is 16 count Michael's Ada that I dyed using Dynaflow, and I do use um, DMC, and this is two over one on Ada. So this week I am hoping to get the second line done. That's one thing good about this pattern is there's, you know, five rows, and I can kind of set a goal of a row a week. So, that's that. So, I was excited to get that done. I think it didn't take, it didn't take me long to do the letters. I like doing letters. Um, there's something about them that you know, I just like doing. They go quickly, for me at least. I do have one new start. Not two, one. One new start. I started Remember Me. This is my, this is my first Blackbird Designs. If I'm lying, y'all tell me, but I do believe it's my first. It is Remember Me. It is a reward of merit. I have no idea what that means. Um, I've been out of the cross-stitch world for about 20 years, 25 years. And so, anyway, I plan on putting this up um, on a wall with pictures of our family that has um, gone on before us. So... I cut my fabric and I'm like, oh, I'm going to be half an inch short. So I need to scooch over the right border, the left border to make sure it, I didn't scooch. So I'm going to be cutting it super duper close. This is a 32 count. I do believe it's linen. Are y'all proud of me yet? <laughs> I do believe it's linen. Um, I got the bottom border done and realized that I needed to unpick some stuff right here. So it's going to be close, but I, I mean, it, if I need some extra for framing, I'll just sew a bit of muslin or something on the side and do that. But um, yeah, I did this yesterday. 
So that is that. So that is my new start. And like I said, I do believe it's my first Blackbird unless I've done... I think I might have done a freebie. I need to check. I need to check my records and see. But I think I might have done a freebie. So this is the first Blackbird that I've paid for. Maybe I could say that. So this is Remember Me. And this, like I said, this is a third... Okay, I'm going to ask you linen stitchers. I like that. I'm assuming it's linen because there's little slubby things in it. I like this linen. You see how it just kind of, you see how it just, it, it's stiff. It doesn't flop over. I've been stitching on some even weave for my ABC sow. And it's floppy. It like flops in my hand. It like flops. And this, this, this is stiff. I like, I like this. Like I said, I don't know what brand this is. I don't know where I got it. It was just folded up with my fabrics. And so I measured it, saw it was 32. Measured the fabric wrong, so I'm fudging it. But anyway, it, if anybody knows what this might be, there is a selvage. And it's just a selvage, so it doesn't have anything special on it. But um, but if anybody knows of a linen or even weave that has a little bit more substance to it, let me know because I like I like that because I do stitch in hand. I like substance to my fabric. I think um, Kimberly Jolly likes to say it's crunchy. I don't anyway. I like substance to my fabric. Anyway, so that is my new start. My first blackbird that I know of. <laughs> I may, I may, I don't know. Anyway, so I worked on flea market flowers. This is um, a Lori Holt pattern um, published by It's So Emma through the Fat Quarter Shop. And this was a stitch along, but of course um, I stitch other things and so I did not finish it in time. And I am working on a color at a time. So I finished up this week, I finished up all the pinks. And I started blues. And so that is Flea Market Flowers. And um, there it is. So this week, I'll probably pick it up for a day and do some more blues. And then, um, yeah, so that's it. Um, it's going slower because I have a few more things that I want to work on, but um, I'm finding that doing it by color and not by block, I'm enjoying a little it a little bit better because I don't have to keep pulling out different different colors. And this is the way I store my fabric. I, I bobbinate, but I've started, um, and I think I'm going to make this my actual permanent method, well, for now, is um, putting... Putting the full bobbins in bags, the bobbins in bags with the full skeins. And then as I use them, I will bobbinate them. And But just keeping all the colors in one bag. Um, because when I stitch, this is what I do. Um, that way I can just, if I have a bobbin with some thread, I don't have to sit there and, and spend time winding it back on. I can um, just throw it in the bag with the color and it stays. So I'm thinking about doing this. This is how I do my kits. I put my kits in bag um the flossway bags from hobby lobby um so i don't know i'm thinking about doing that i have this whole cabinet that is meant for the little tackle boxes for your um bobbins but i think i'm just going to keep them on rings and throw them in the drawers and have the drawers labeled by you know the numbers so anyway so i'm thinking about doing this because it, it keeps my little my little bags organized anyway then I worked on America by Calico Confectionery. I picked it up. And um, this is it right here, America. And I, you know, I got a lot done um, since the last time y'all saw it. This is on um, coffee tea dyed, 16 count. Ada, and I'm using one thread um, over one square of Ada, and I am using um, 
some JP coats that I had from thrift stores. So this is what I did. I finished the bottom words and I started stitching all these wonderful little blue things and realized that I was off all the way back here. So I have a note. Remove the last two blues. <laughs> I need to undo. So when I noticed my mistake, I did whatever self-respecting stitcher did. I made a note. I rolled it up. And I put it away <laughs> because I was not in the mood. And that is when I decided to pick up um, Remember Me and stitch that. I needed, I needed to redeem myself. <laughs> I was just so frustrated. So I don't know when y'all are going to see America again, but I have a note of what I need to do. And more than likely one day when I feel like ripping out a bunch of stitching, I'll get that done. <laughs> but... It is what it is, and I I made the mistake, so I wasn't paying attention. Anyway, I was thought I, what I was doing was I was like, oh, this is what it looks like here, so I'm just going to copy it, and apparently that's not how it's working. So anyway, okay, which brings me to my last piece, which is City of Romance by Emma Congdon. Stitch Rovia. I got this in a magazine off of Readly and it is in Cross Stitcher February 2018. But it's also available on Stitch Rovia's Etsy shop if you don't have Readly and don't want to get it. If you do want to get it, I have a link below. It'll give you a free month. It'll give me a free month. So anyway, that is it. I am doing this on 14 count Ada that I dyed with Dynaflow dyes. Um, it is a purpley color. Um, I am using the anchor threads that come from Joann's, that Joann's and Michael's now have. I put them in this. My complaint is still, I don't like this storage. It's so, if I had any, you think about with a, what a skein or a bobbin takes, and this is just so much more room. And like I said before, it's it's plastic. And it's really technically not reusable. Um, I don't have grandchildren to play with it, and if I did, I'd probably give them my mom's old wooden spools because I don't want my grandkids chewing on plastic. Anyway, enough of that. I don't like plastic. This is what I've done. So here it is right here. I am loving these colors. Um, it is so bright and it is so, um, I don't know. I am just loving these colors. I pick a, a block, a house, and I pull out the threads for each house and I start stitching. So this little house right here needs the roof and then a new house starts behind it. And this one, um, I just need to finish the gable for that house. I love this design. <laughs> I love these colors. Um, I am a very, I love color. Um, when I have a choice to paint a house, all the rooms are different colors. So anyway, this is, this is it. Look at those little gondolas. You can see them better now, now that I have buildings. Um, I love this. I love this piece. So anyway, so Besides the fact that Anchor comes in spools at Joann's and Michael's, um, I like the thread. I'm finding it covers well. Um, it has a little bit more sheen, like I said last week. Um, I like the spools because it's easier to wrap them on, but I do have to cut off. If I, if I, um, when you first get it, you have to cut off a good half inch because it's, it's stuck under the label. You know how schools are. It's not like the, um, and I had them in a move. It's not like the sulky where they're kind of wrapped around the thing. These are, um, they're stuck under the label like this. You can see, so you have to peel up the label and hope you don't tear it because it has the number on it. And then you have to cut off that top part because it's sticky and it's frayed. So you cut off a good half inch once all, all is said and done. So, when you unwind it, 
like here, you know, I just, I wind it back on. So that's, that's okay. But I can't put it in my floss away bags. I mean, I guess I could, but that would just be so bulky. Um, so I'm torn. I like Anchor. Um, I do know that if you order it from one, three, two, three stitch, it comes in a skein. Um, you don't get as much. Some people are saying that I think it was, um, Stitching by the Shore, Laura, said that hers were 69 cents, mine were 75 cents, and they are 69 cents on one, two, three stitch, and they are a skein. You don't get as much, but, you know. There is this problem that I ran into, and this is, so this is what I've pulled off right here, and then this is the, anyway, but this is, this is from... Is this the one that did it? I don't think this is the one that did it. I'm going to try to find the one that did it. Anyway, I'll just tell you. The bottom thread that the, when they started wrapping it around the spool, it's starting to, it's starting to come up, pop up right here. You can kind of see it a little bit right here. See right there. And so the more you unwind, this starts popping out more. And that's frustrating. Um, I've never had that happen with the spool that I'm sewing with. Um, so can y'all see that? Anyway, so that's bothersome. So that's another con with me using. But like I said, I like them. If I have a chart that is, um, done, the model is stitched in anchor. Um, I might buy the anchor threads through one, two, three stitch, but I can't see me, unless these are like on some kind of drastic sale, I will either bobbinate them with the anchor numbers or buy them from one, three, two, three stitch. But if they ever go on clearance on Joanne's, I'll, go, I'll probably go buy a bunch. <laughs> um, but I just, I don't like the spools. I just, there's just that. There's the storage, there's the plastic, there's, it takes up too much room. I just don't like it. Like I said, I do have some silky threads. Hold on. Now, the silky threads, I have not used these yet. These are a narrower spool. They're still plastic. Um, like I said, I have not used them. If you've used them, what do you think about the storage? To me, this looks like, I mean, when you, there's six. So when you take, you know, I mean, that's just more room, more space in your, in your storage. You know what I'm saying? In your bag, in your project bag. So I just, I can't, I can't see myself totally switching to Anchor. Like I said, Stitch Rovia, this was, I don't know if the, I don't know what the model was stitched in, but it did, it was charted. It was charted for DMC Anchor, 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 I said it again, Anchor and Madeira, um, so, you know, that's my opinion on, on this. I'm not throwing that down. I don't know. But anyway, I love this piece. <laughs> I like the floss. I really do. I really like the floss. I don't like the spools. That's my complaint. So if they go to, if they go to skeins at Joann's, I, I can see myself, you know, maybe if I'm choosing my own colors, you know, going back and forth. But um, I, I just don't have space to store all that. I have space. I just don't have the desire to store all that. Anyway, haul. Here's my haul. I got my new Sunday stitches in. Um, sorry, I'm getting a pop-up and now I can't read my thing. It is when I survey a stable wonders cross. And um, so anyway, I'm excited about stitching this. I love the colors. Those little yellow flowers are just so sweet. I love them. Anyway, and... You know, I watched the Fat Quarter Shop floss tube. I don't know if y'all watch it. I, I watch it, and um, I like it. Uh, you know, normally Kimberly's projects aren't projects that I would do. I've, I've you know, flea market flowers I picked up because I really found it was pretty. She came out with a pattern for World Cross Stitch Day. And I'm really enjoying stitching letters, and I find that I stitch them up quickly. So if you haven't seen it, it's it, it's $5, $4.98, I think. I got the pattern. This is it right here. I figured it'll go cute in my sewing room, so that's why I got it. Um, I will not, I did not buy the frame. 
Um, I don't like the frame. I, I'll just stick it in a regular frame. But, um, but this is it right here. And I bought the floss pack. I never buy the floss pack because I have so much DMC. But it's Cosmo. And I've not tried Cosmo. And I figured, you know what? Since I'm kind of branching out and stitching on linen now. And I'm stitching with, I have some Silky and I have some Anchor. I thought, let's try Cosmo. So, um, Laura at Stitching by the Shore has a chart, I believe, that's charted in Cosmo. And she bought the thread pack. So I thought, why not? It does have a free chart on the back. I'm not going to show it because then you'll see the chart. Um, so we will see. I am going to start this probably this week, maybe today. I do believe the first part has to be finished by August 18th if I'm going to follow their, their um, chart, which I never do because I don't think I stitch as much. I think she stitches a good like six or seven hours a day because it's her business. I mean, come on. I don't. But anyway, so that's Cosmo. So if you stitch with Cosmo, let me know. I will do a review on it when I start stitching on it. Um, you know my opinions on the anchor. Um, great floss. Love the floss. Love the colors. I find the colors, I find the colors a little bit more vibrant. Other people have said they find DMC more vibrant. I don't know. Um, I don't like the spools. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying that. Anchor, if you're listening, I don't like the spools. There is a lady in one of my groups that bought this kind of like a, kind of like the new version of the old wooden sewing cabinets that opened up that way. And she bought one on Hobby Lobby on clearance to store. She, she apparently went and bought every anchor floss. And she bought this cabinet to store it all in. I have every DMC, most likely. Um, I probably could say, I'm going to go buy every... I don't have... I don't like the spools. <laughs> I'll just say it. <laughs> I don't like the spools. But, you know, like I said, I have a bunch of a uh, DMC that I inherited. And, you know, bought over the years that I'm not going to... I don't think I'm going to go out and buy all the Anchor unless Joanne gets rid of them and has them on clearance for a really great price. So that's it for today. Thank y'all so much for watching. Um, I will see y'all next week. Husband's in school, so we're back to our weekly videos. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.